can just hold on. There's help. There's plenty of love, I know. 24 people died this week after tornadoes ripped across Middle Tennessee. Those tornadoes also destroyed hundreds of homes. Many of those families must rebuild starting again at the foundation. Tonight, an East Tennessee couple who lived through a similar storm is offering words of encouragement. 10 News reporter Amelia Young spoke to that family about weathering a massive storm and what helped them recover. Amelia. A tornado wiped out areas of Greenback and Loudoun in Blunt counties nine years ago this month. Luckily, no one was killed, but many lost their homes and everything inside. At that time, starting over seemed impossible, but for one couple, they say hope and faith kept them going. Came over here and, and started picking up what we could pick up last night. In 2011, David Cooper and his wife Brenda lost everything they owned within seconds. Their house destroyed in the path of a tornado. Their future was uncertain. But today, nine years later, the Coopers are standing strong. We just got busy and went back at it and started building. On the same property, but with a whole new outlook. It puts your life in perspective of what's important and what's not important. Watching others go through the same experience this week from Nashville to Cookville has been hard. It's difficult for me to watch that. 40% of people who survive natural disasters experience post-traumatic stress, according to research. But the Coopers say life does get better. There is a brighter future that, you know, if they can just hold on, there's help. There's plenty of love, I know. If you know of someone struggling, they offer this advice. Just pray for them. Just pray for them and lift them up in prayer and just ask God to be with them. But if you are the one struggling, they say to be strong, courageous, and have faith. Really, really know that uh, they'll get through this. They really will. And it will get better. It will get better. Things will, day by day, it just gets better and better. And there's been an outpouring of support to help people in Mill, Tennessee. The Coopers say they're grateful to see help is there for those suffering. John. We appreciate their perspective, Amelia. Thank you. President Donald Trump spent part of his day touring communities leveled by the deadly tornadoes. He did stop in Cookville to see the damage there. He spoke with survivors, thanked first responders. The president says he has seen tremendous heart from the people of Tennessee. We now know, as we mentioned, 11 tornadoes dropped from one supercell storm Monday night. Three in West Tennessee, seven in Middle Tennessee, and one here in East Tennessee. And now the National Weather Service is offering new details about the path of that superstorm. It was right around 1230, as you see here, when a tornado hit in far west Davidson County. The National Weather Service says it rapidly intensified into an EF2 storm at least 111 miles an hour. Those winds it gained strength with an EF3 winds anywhere from 111 to 135 by the time it roared into East Nashville. That tornado was on the ground for 60 plus miles. As the main storm moved east, it dropped even more tornadoes. Take a look. The second major tornado touched down north of I-40 in the same area around 137 in the morning. It stayed on the ground as an EF0, 65 to 85 miles an hour for just under six miles, as you see here, damaging several storms. Then at 149 in the morning, a third tornado touched down two and a half miles northwest of Baxter and Putnam County. It was an EF0 storm for a couple of miles, then intensified, eventually becoming an EF4 storm, winds pushing 175 miles an hour as it worked through Cookville. It weakened slightly, still with winds pushing more than 100 miles an hour for two miles. The National Weather Service blames that Cookville tornado for the deaths of 18 people, destroying more than 30 homes and injuring 88 people. Now you can help storm victims. Today we were out at the Cornerstone Church in Farragut hosting a supply drive for victims in Cookville. We were able to collect a bunch of supplies thanks to you. Dozens of people came out to show their support. Uh, ever since y'all kind of came out and gave us a shout out last night, um, people have just been showing up and just really showing what a true volunteer is. 
Here are their biggest needs. Soap, toilet paper, paper towels, and toothbrushes, as well as toothpaste. You can bring those supplies to Quarterstone Church in Farragut tomorrow from 10 until 5 and on Sunday from 1 to 5. You can find a full list of supplies online right now at WBIR.com. And there are so many ways that you can help our neighbors in Middle Tennessee. You can text the word right now, HELP, to 865-637-1010, and we will send you the long list of all the ways that you can help pitch in.